love. I'm Andisa McKay, or as my father has taught me, Ni Ntombi, Yakwa Makaya, Emma Sireni, I think. Though I've never been 100% certain of my own traditional name's pronunciation. But of one thing I am certain, I am an African princess. My father's princess, Temba Makaya, the great activist hero. An activist who had to flee for his life. That was, of course, before the TRC came with their clever way of granting amnesty for truth. As if one should not pay the price for one's sins. Who came up with this nonsense? Innocent black women and children got killed because of their husbands, relatives and friends who rioted against white power. How can one be reconciled with a murderer of one's loved one? Just because this criminal was willing to speak the truth in return for amnesty. I mean, does the law not compel one to speak the truth and nothing but the truth? And if not, bear the consequences for it. This is telling the criminal, you don't have to pay as long as you can come clean about what you've done. Who then will be paying for the loss? The innocent again? Those that have been left behind, wounded by the brutal death and loss of their loved ones? Those that suffer inside because of emotional scars resulting in a permanent distrust and disgust in the legal system? There are many African people that will want revenge. Joe Slovo's skull is not smiling over this wife's murderer that is walking scot-free. The TRC is taking the revenge away from him and many others like him. These victims of hurt will only die bitter and unhappy. There is no such thing as peace, forgiveness, stability and reconciliation between those victims that are left behind and the criminals that caused trouble in the first place. The Truth and Reconciliation Commission is a flawed idea. The only thing that is born from this mess is international approval and international reconciliation. Don't even come with beautiful African words like Ubuntu. You know what? We have been sold out.